Today I'm going to show you how to quickly set up the vinyl turntable's tone arm using a simple laser level, which takes the guesswork out of the equation and will be super precise and no need to eyeball it anymore. I'm going to place my camera here so you can see the whole process. Okay, dock in my camera. This is awesome. The laser level is from Fantic. It's rechargeable, USB-C. I set up the height using a few CDs and books like this. So the end result should look like something like this. The whole line should be in the center of the arm, which tells me it is completely leveled as this thing will do automatic leveling for me because when the arm is balancing, there's no way for me to tell for sure that it is balanced, right? I can move it around and it's okay. So for the vinyl turntable setup, it comes with a counterweight and the cartridge or the needle. So insert it like this. And keep in mind that there's a protective cover here. A plastic cover that needs to be taken off. Oops, I inserted the wrong direction. So there are some writings here. Uh, eventually, we will set it to two, two grams of uh, needle pressure, and needs to be set to zero when the arm is balanced, perfectly balanced. I'm going to show you in just a second. So let's just roughly balance it. I'll, I'll keep my um, laser level behind my camera so it's not uh, you know blocked by some of these things uh, I'm gonna lower the tone arm support almost good but keep in mind we have to remove the plastic cover and make sure the needle doesn't touch the metal part rotate this little counterweight block it's very delicate. The needle touching the, um, the mat is fine. Oh, I forgot to mention at the very first step is to ensure you're, you're doing this uh, balancing on a flat surface. It is, this table has to be completely leveled, of course. It looks like the needle is barely touching. I'm going to zoom in, see if you can see a bit better. See the needle? It is barely touching. Uh, I think I'm going to do some more adjustment. So that, that side needs to be a little bit further away. As you can see, without the assistance of the laser line, now it is perfect, I think. Yes, it is perfect right now. Without the assistance of this laser line, how would I know it is perfectly leveled, right? So once it is leveled like this, let's wait for it to stabilize. It's completely centered, as you can see. Uh, and the laser has a vertical and a horizontal line right there. As you can see, it is completely leveled here and it's free spinning, right? This is perfect. This is perfect. Then we need to uh, turn the plastic cover and set it to zero. Let me turn the camera a little bit this way so you can see here. There is a black line I'm going to turn the cover slightly to re uh, set it to zero. Now this is zeroed out. It's perfectly balanced. Yeah, this is perfect. Then together I'm going to turn the both the plastic rain and the metal block uh, to the marking too. This needs to be done together. 
this ensures that the needle has two grams of pressure on the record. So that is two. Um, because when I'm rotating it counterclockwise, it's going this direction, therefore applying more force on this needle. Okay, now, now it's done, basically. Um, then never have to touch this. Uh, it will not move. Um, then the tracking needs to be two. Set it to two again. One or two, I, I don't remember. There's a, there's a quick uh, user guide. So this is to set reset to zero. When it is balanced, then set it to uh, the two marking. Here, look, the tracking force, kind of uh, anti-skid system, is set to two. When the arm is balanced and set, uh, you know, the pressure is set correctly. Now this is done perfectly. So if I put a record here and um, put put the needle here and then drop the needle, it will be perfect. Yes, that, that's the um, manufacturer's specification to have two grams of pressure on the needle. As you can see here, when it's raised, it's slightly, you know, not level, but that, that's okay, it doesn't matter anymore. That That is how you do the proper uh, tone arm balancing using a laser level. And of course, this thing is super useful when you are mounting, uh, working on like uh, mounting shelves or the um, pegboard installation, for example. Uh, I used one of those to make sure everything is lined up correctly. Lock it and it turns off. So just a simple switch on off switch. There's a quarter inch mount uh, for mounting it on the tripod, for example. You can do that and it comes with the accessory, the magnetic accessory. When it's um, out of, um, when it's uh, um, out of balance, it will blink. There's about four degrees of tolerance. Yeah. If I tilt it slightly, it will start blinking, letting me know it is not um, leveled. It's out of range. And another press of here of this uh, power on off switch, it will give me, uh, you know, the brightness adjustment. So yeah, highly recommend it. Very handy little uh, tool to have, not only for vinyl turntables, but it's just a very um, interesting application for the laser level.